Hello everyone, we are going to discuss about the Bollinger Band indicator in this video. In technical analysis, as we know, volatility plays a key role. So, in order to take care of volatility based trades, you may use the Bollinger Bands. This indicator was created by John Bollinger in the year of 1980. Normally, analysts plot 20 period moving average and plot two bands, one two standard deviation above and one two standard deviation below the moving average. You must be knowing that standard deviation or SD is a statistical concept which describes how the prices are dispersed around an average value. The importance of using two standard deviation is that it ensures that 95% of the price data is within the full band range. As a thumb rule, prices are considered to be overextended on the upside or overbought when they touch the upper band. They are considered overextended on the downside or oversold when they touch the lower band. The statistical concept behind the technical terms overbought and oversold is that as the prices depart from the average you and I should expect them to move back towards the average or the mean. Let's see how the Bollinger Bands work. There are many elements of the Bollinger Bands. First, the slope of the midline or the mid Bollinger Band. A positive slope of the middle band normally signifies that we are in an up move. A negative slope signifies that we are in a down trend or a down move. In a steadily rising market, price often comes close to the middle band and then goes up to touch the upper band. And then again it pulls back and then again it goes up. Similarly, in a steadily declining market, price often falls to the lower band and then pulls back to the middle band and then again drops. Please emphasize on the word steadily moving market here. Now in case of a fierce up move, we often see that the price candle moves past the upper Bollinger band and the stock surges ahead. Sometimes the consecutive candles that are formed are closing above the upper Bollinger band if the up move is very very fierce else the price normally remain glued or closely tied to the upper Bollinger band after the breakout as the price moves higher higher and higher. Similarly if price close below the lower Bollinger band and there is a follow up down move the down move can be very very fierce and sharp. However if there is a reversal that is if price closes below the upper band after the up move had happened earlier that may signify a pause or a reversal of an up move. Similarly, if prices moves back above the lower Bollinger band after a fierce down move then it may indicate loss of downward momentum or a probable price reversal in that scenario. You might be wondering where you will identify a stock based on AFF criteria. There are thousands of stocks, right? Don't worry. In the stockage app in the scan section, we have provided scans to select stocks based on Bollinger Band criteria on EOD basis. And in the combination scan section, you can build your own trading strategies combining the Bollinger Band with other indicators. Also, these are very very basics about the Bollinger Band. This indicator Bollinger Band is one of the most versatile indicators ever constructed. The way the bands shape up, the way they squeeze, the way they expand and many more aspects are there when we talk about this indicator. For you, we have built an advanced course where we put in all these details and help you in building your own trading strategies by combining the Bollinger Band with other indicators. The link of the course is in the following section. If you are interested to expand your knowledge about this indicator, we recommend that you attend the course. Thank you 
for watching the video.